Howdy, Travis from Know How here. We just released Know How 4.8.5 Samosas. I can explain that part another time. What's important for you to know is that in this release, we made it easier than ever for you to equip and onboard and train your staff and confirm their competency in the things you're teaching them. In this update, I will show you how we just rolled out Workflow Skill Builder to make it easier than ever for you to take AI-generated test questions, train and equip your staff, and then confirm they know exactly what you want to teach them. Let's hop right in. Okay, so you can see here, I am looking at the Workflows dashboard screen. If you haven't been to this dashboard screen before, this is a way for you to create instant workflows for your team. A workflow is just a combination of step-by-step -step processes for your team in a specific order to a certain outcome. So let's say I want to train Travis in this EMS Cat1 water loss uh, workflow here. I'm just going to search for Travis, find him here, drag and drop him on this workflow. And here it's going to show all the step-by-step -step processes that are included in this EMS Cat1 water loss workflow. You'll see Travis's name here. In this case, I'm going to click assign and edit. And now we can turn on tests for Travis based on every process in the workflow. So you may have seen this screen before, but if so, you'll see new icons here. These little guys that indicate if a skill builder test has been activated for this process or not. Skill Builder is our AI test generator that reads the content of the process and then generates multiple choice and true false questions for you so you don't have to create all those questions yourself. You can see here that all of these have Skill Builder tests turned on except for this one up top. So let's add one now. I'm gonna click that Add Skill Builder here is where I can generate skill builder test questions. In this case, I'm just going to click generate. And now it's writing out in front of us based on the content of this process, record a payment for a customer. It's writing out these questions for us. You saw it. Uh, what should you do after entering payment for the accounting? I can edit any of these true, false, multiple choice, customize them all. But if they all look good to me, what I'll do is I'll activate the skill check in here. Close that. And now you can see this one is turned on. So now that all of the processes have skill builders turned on, you need at least three for this next part to work. I can create a summary test for the entire workflow. So I'm going to click this button, test. Uh, it says currently test inactive. I'm going to turn this on so that it automatically tests workers after they complete a process, regardless of the, the settings of the specific skill builder. And then I'm going to turn on this add a summary check-in. That summary check-in is that final boss test at the end of the workflow that confirms if you know the contents and what was taught in the entire workflow. So let's click save settings. I'll show you how it works. Confirm details. So now as I go through any individual process and complete it, and customers tell us all the time, how do I know that my people out in the field are not just doing frankly what I'm doing right now and just hitting complete, 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 complete. And they don't actually know the content of what is being taught. Well, Skill Builder solves that problem because with Skill Builder now, you can test employees on what they were taught. So I'm going to complete the last step here. Click Save and Close. And you'll see what happens is this. This is going to dismiss and then it's going to give me a test for uh, this process that I just completed, record a payment from a customer. Click complete skill check-in. First step recording plan is deposit the payment into the company bank account. Is that false? Nice. All right, got that one right. Perfect. Love to see it. Question two, what menu option? QuickBooks Online. I the maybe sales. Nice. All right. So you can see this is confirming if an employee actually knows what they're being taught or if they just did the complete, 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 complete. So this is already giving you more confidence that when I train and equip workers with know-how, that they actually are learning the things that we're putting in front of them. Now, where this is integrated and where this goes one step deeper is that final test at the end. I'm going to hit pause and complete the rest of these. And then we're going to circle back as I'm completing the final step 
of this process, of this workflow, and I'll show you what it looks like at the very end. All right, we're back, and I am just completing the last test of the last process in our workflow. False. I actually tried really hard on this one. And so I got five out of five. Nice job. Anyone needs help with their categories of water damage? And look, I've just been presented with a summary test. And so this summary test is going to take 15 questions spread out from all across all the processes that I completed in this workflow and test me on them. You can see this is not specific to any one process, but it's pulling from different processes. What's the first step in dealing with water damage? Sign a category to the water. Of course, that was actually from the process that I thought that I would have uh, done really well in. Step two, step three, step four, all the way down. It's pulling from all of these steps across all these processes to give us these questions here. You don't have to sit and watch me get question after question wrong. Just be thankful that I work in technology, not restoration and mitigation. Here's the big takeaway. In this release, your staff are being tested on not only did they read the process, did they mark it as complete, they're being tested on their competency as well. And you've got the ability to assign tests for their training and onboarding workflows and see their results both at an individual process level and overall summary of the entire workflow. We're going to incorporate more and more ways for you to see and understand your workers' competency across different subjects, across different departments. But we wanted to show you what we launched uh, over the past few days in Know How 4.8.5 Samosa. If you've got any feedback on this feature or other features you'd like to see in Know How, you know what to do. Give us a shout on that chat window or send me an email, travis at tryknowhow.com. We're really excited to continue to improve this product and help you, your workers, work more confidently and competently. Thanks.